Hi traders, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group and welcome to my weekly Forex report. To kick off the week on Monday, traders will pay attention to the Asian session with the release of GDP numbers from China, which are expected to hit the market at 1.6%, which is higher than last month's figure of 1.4%. And if analysts are correct, they should give the Chinese won a big boost. An unusual event to take place later in the day is the meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and US President Donald Trump, and the outcome of this meeting is bound to create some opportunities in all of the currency pairs. On Tuesday, the focus will again be on the Asian session with the release of the minutes meeting from the Reserve Bank of Australia, which will create some volatility in the Australian dollar. In the European session, the market will await the unemployment rate from the UK as well as the average earning figures. This release will be closely monitored. As speculation grows, the Bank of England will raise interest rate next month and we expect volatility in the British pound. On Wednesday, the focus will again be on Great Britain with the release of CPI figures, which will also go a long way in helping the Bank of England to decide on an interest rate hike and trading opportunities in the pound are expected. In the American session, the market will await the release of the housing starts and building permits figures from the US, which is a key indicator of the real estate sector and will create some opportunities in the US dollar. On Thursday, during the Asian session, we'll see the release of the unemployment rate and job participation figures from Australia. Rumours are swirling the RBA may have to cut interest rates in the near future to boost inflation and breathe some life into the jobs market. So this news will generate a lot of interest as well as major volatility in the Australian dollar. In the European session, we'll see the release of retail sales figures from the UK, which is a key indicator of consumer confidence and should create some opportunities in the British pound. On Friday, during the European session, we'll see the release of the producer price index from Germany, which is a key indicator of business conditions in Europe's biggest economy and will create some trading opportunities in the euro. In the American session, the market will await CPI numbers from Canada, which hit the market last month at 0.3%. This figure was well up from the previous month's figure of 0.1%, which may be attributed to higher oil prices and a repeat performance should see the Canadian dollar Finish the week strongly. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.